Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSEs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have uh, classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarQ, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, end all for it. Thank you. Repeat, correct now? Correct now? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So now here, if you see that, if you see that here, this is where dev team is dev. When I say dev team, then do not start thinking about the programmers. Dev team or engineering team nowadays, that means architect, development and testing together. But here I'm saying only till up to dev team. So this is the more or less dev team will do the work. And here more or less. Uh, QA team will do the work. Correct now. Now operations here is not coming in this picture right now. Now if you look at this, I am going to use one of the tools which is a very popular uh, in the market. So I'm going to name it though. There are so many tools. I showed you one image where the DevOps can be implemented irrespective of what tools you are using. So typically plan maybe confluence here you have coding. Typically what do you use Git, GitHub or stuff like that. Scanning any tools you guys uh, have any idea? Sonar cube. Sonar cube, correct. So build any tools you want to suggest, which is the most popular one? Check it. Uh, no, no, build, build. Maven. 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 Yeah, Maven, Gradle, and all. Maven is for Java, right? Gradle for many other technology. Gradle works for the C++ also. .NET also. Python also. Uh, Groovy also. So many one. Unit testing because you said Maven. That means I'm saying uh, it's a J unit. Packaging any tools you are using? Hey. You guys, pack, packaging also. There's so many tools are there. Hundreds of tools are there. Hello. Uh, packaging. Okay. Uh, so Helm is not a packaging at this stage. I'll, I'll talk about Helm also. So guys, here there's a two kind of packaging. Understand this way. Nowadays it's become a three kind of packaging. So because here we have uh, things. So one is app packaging. Another one is system packaging. Another one is container packaging. Okay. So here app packaging means what? So app packaging means jar file, war file, ear file, tarball, gif files. These are the application bin file, object file. So these are the app packaging. System packaging means uh, Windows means exe, MSI, uh, Linux means RPM build, Damien package, Mac means DMG file and stuff like that. Uh, Android means APK file and uh, container packaging means Docker image. Correct now? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, so packaging is also we do that, correct? So many tools are there, but guys, so many tools are there in this category also depends on the requirement. So where do we archive? So you must be having either Nexus, Sonatype Nexus or Artifactory. So one of the tools you must be having. Which one you are you guys are using? They are planning to deploy JFrog, but at this moment, it's AWS, uh, AWS code repo. Okay, AWS code repo. Yeah, that is also good. Uh, so yeah, deployment to QA environment. Which tool we are using for that? 
so guys here the question deployment to qa environment which tools we are using so here is a question uh, are you deploying two vms okay are you deploying to kubernet condition apply and should i add the cloud also cloud cloud also i can add it so how you deploy let's say if you have a vms virtual machines so how do you deploy yeah so if you deploy uh, in virtual machines so you must be having few tools for example i'll name it i know that some of you must be knowing actually you must be having chef or puppet or ansible or or salt or cf engine so ansible is the most popular so i'll just write it ansible and here kubernetes deployment how do you do it someone just named it what was that helm helm and then cloud deployments if you want to do which tool is good for it terraform terraform coding for infra so guys we have so many tools for it now here in at again we have so many tools we have selenium we have uh, jmeter we have uh, ibm tools test tools we have rft we have qtp we have so many tools we have so again and code coverage which tools you guys are using code coverage for last stage of the ci so okay oh no code coverage so not queue is for the code scanning and, st and storing the coverage reports not for code coverage you may be using jecoco if you are in java kubuchura covarit sorry covarit so yeah so these are the tools you will be must be using actually so now guys if you see that here these are the teams these are the phases these are the tools we are using now question is do we have any tools which can help you okay i'll just put this line here do we have any tools think about it and i know you know that do we have any tools which can uh, think about it uh, do we have any tools which can integrate oh oh ha huh. so we have to integrate with this tool uh, with jira also git also sonar cube also maven also junit also artifactory also selenium also jacoco also and all these tools which i also these tools also so at uh, tools do we have any co common tool where dev also can work qa can also work together single platform for all these phases of sdlc cycle do we have any tools for it yes which one jenkins jenkins enterprise jenkins i think you guys are using it some of you said it correct now yeah so I some of you you are using jenkins but in this category also there's a hell lot of tools you know i have i i have worked with jenkins bamboo team city uh, azure azure devops aws devops you know so many tools we have earlier we had a you uh, ibm you deploy also so many tools are there and jenkins is the most popular one and then you know that very well agree with me right Yeah, guys. But the problem what we have, we have a Jenkins which will help you to CI. But from here, once the package is ready, then we have to do more discussions, right? We have to take it further to the, uh, you know, further to the next level also, right? And that is where we have to do. This is CI. Remember, we did just discuss. This is CI here. if all passed we do the c uh, delivery we reach to the delivery if one failed we keep repeating at so do we have any ways to implement the delivery and release and uh, deployment are you understanding the problem here so yeah some of you said uh, rajesh we have integrated the delivery and deployment with the jenkins also yes that is cool but there are so many challenges which we have there is so many requirements which we have in the delivery and deployment and release 
which jenkins will might not is 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 not suitable for it again see i'm not saying it cannot be done i'm saying like suitable ease of using ease of manage ease of visualization saving time so that is a one of the areas which we are targeting right now so are you understanding all of you so far yep yes yes and one more thing so, sorry to interrupt you what is the code coverage advantage i, I got to know so code coverage advantage code coverage yes that's a very good yes. question actually uh so guys code coverage so if you look at this here let me take a one snippet one more time and please hear me out clearly because i i'm not i don't i'm not using slides so probably visualizations may may not that good uh for the code coverage so here you see that uh in the devops there is a one important thing uh why we want to implement the devops so there's one important thing which we have is quality okay and when i say quality there is a two kind of quality we we have okay code quality and you know what because of code quality issues only we have 70% of the bugs in the product but there is one more quality which we always focus and that is called test quality I'll give you one simple example. Let's say, uh, so, sorry, who has asked this question? Hey, Malik Arjun. Yeah, Malik Arjun. So, Malika, uh, let's say you are my manager, and mm -hmm. you came to me and said, Rajesh, have you tested this feature, feature one, and feature two? Okay. So, have you tested this one? and i said yes i have tested so then next question you will ask me please hear me out next question you will ask me okay how many test cases 100 and then how many pass and failed 100 pass zero failed this is my answer so what you will do let's say you are a test manager so you'll say yes if testing is passed that means then let's do the release. Let's send this package to the operations team and they will take care of it. Rest of the stuff, you know that, correct? Now, this is what we'll yeah. do. But this yeah. is where you made a mistake, actually. This is where you made a mistake, and the mistake was, are you because you are managing five, six, ten QA engineer? Are you sure this this hundred test cases? is covering all this 300 test uh, this 300 features are you sure about it because here you only ask all these test cases pass or fail but the question was are you sure this 100 test cases is covering all the 300 features of the testing yes or no correct correct yeah correct yeah. you 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 may not because if if you ask me rajesh is this covered 100% i say yes i would i have i have covered 100% but the question is how can you trust me how can you trust me if i say i have completed my testing because you know what if if let's say by mistake i have missed that feature or maybe i have i have i have got the different priority at that time and i forgot uh, that one due to some reason then we are in a trouble, right? When I say we means uh, our release in the trouble, our company is in trouble, right? So here, that is a question here. How can you, that question is very simple. I'm asking to you, how can we make sure, how can we make sure 100 test cases is 100% of test coverage? Cover, uh, 100% 100% uh, test cases let me write it covering 100% of feature how can we make sure and that is where just avoid the spelling mistake for some time because uh, i might do the while typing so 
how can you make sure the 100 test cases covering 100% of feature of all the product? So that process we have. Coverage process. This is the process. This is one of the process we have coverage process. Now guys here we have a two kind of coverage. One is test coverage. Another one is code coverage. OK, code coverage. So now then you'll ask me Rajesh, what is a code test coverage and what is a code coverage? So let me put it up in this way. There is a one product which has a 10 feature. Please understand this. There is a one product which we have a 10 feature. The product name is DevOps X. This is the product which you are working on it and it has a 10 feature. Now you know what? In order to do this testing, you, you have to write an automation test cases. Remember that CI demands you to write a test cases. No manual work, man, no manual automation. I mean testing work. So here, in order to, so now let's started. You are started uh, uh, running. I mean, you started writing, writing the test cases for it. So 10 feature, and I'm I'm keeping the figure in generic. Okay, please don't match the numbers. Just for generic, for 10 features, you have only written seven test cases that means one test cases one feature is equal to one test cases it may not be true in real time but just for the calculations i am saying hey we have 10 features but you have written only the seven test cases okay seven test cases now this seven test cases will only test the seven features will you remember this stuff all of you yeah okay now the question is now question is. The question is what is a test coverage and what is a code coverage? So guys understand that there is a two words. One is test coverage. One is a code coverage. So let me try to help you to understand this. Let me try to under help you to understand this. So here test coverage means. Simple way if I'm putting test coverage means. Let's say Malikarjun, you are coming to me and saying the Rajesh, what is a test coverage? So test coverage means whatever the number of test cases you have, how much you have run in reality, you may have 10,000 of test cases. You may not run all these test cases. For some releases. So if you ask me. Rajesh, what are the test cases? So I'll tell you the real picture. So first time I have run the four. Uh, can I make it this one? Six. I'll, I'll make it six because my calculation will be easy for me. Okay, so right now six. 10 feature you have six test cases you have written to test six feature. Okay, so I will I am running on reality. This is the reality run. I am running four. That means in order to do the sanity or testing, I run the four test cases. Then Malikarjan, you will come to me and saying Rajesh, can you please tell me what is the test coverage? So test coverage means mind it. I had a six test cases that is 100% for me out of which four I covered. That means your test coverage is somewhere close to 66% uh, plus six. Now how do we, how did I calculated? You have to tell me. How did I calculate it? You have to tell me. So this this will represent 100%, right? Out of 100% test cases, you run four. That means almost 66% you run it, right? Correct, no? So that's my test coverage. No, got it. You have 10 features, but out of 10 features, if one feature is one test case, there itself, you're, you're a loss of four. Ah, I'm test loss case. of four, but my test coverage, I mean, test coverage means what are the test cases you have and out of which how much you have used okay. it. Okay, got, got it. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. but now next question. Then Malikarjun came to me and saying that, okay, that was okay. I know that uh, we have this much of test cases, so you run 66% test cases. Okay, can you, can you run more? Maybe offline discussions, but yes. Now you will ask me, OK, tell me what is a code coverage code coverage? So code coverage here would be. 
40 percent that is very poor but this is the score now how did i calculate it let me tell you code coverage is a process in which whatever the test cases you run what are the percentage of the code has been tested percentage of the tools so poor one is equal to one means four you ran so it covered only 40 percent of the code that means 60 percent of the code is not tested correct now yeah. so that is the difference between the test coverage and code coverage so now what is it, why we use code coverage we understood that in order to find out what is covered so in the let's say you if you get the code coverage reports then you will get to know this package coverage class coverage and line coverage so here in a coverage you will get a report like say 60 percent then Im immediately malikarjan you will come to me and blast on me and saying that rajesh you said you completed a testing and fully done just now we were discussing here okay uh, fully done and now coverage report is coming only 60 percent that means out of 100 percent code we, we have only tested our through our automation only 60 percent oh sorry uh, 40 percent 60 percent still not done and so it's a concern right this product will go in the production and will raise lots of issues debt that's called technical debt right it will create a correction waste that means bug fixing and we'll have to hire a new people new team and then again new process you know that some of you must be having an idea about this working in the operations correct now yeah yes so guys this is a code coverage so yeah any questions so far all of you i'm clear thanks yeah any other questions all of you okay so quickly i am touching part of the cd part also delivery and website deployment okay so more or less continuous delivery is a software development discipline where software can be released to the production at any time that is the concept uh, so continuous do we have a two part delivery versus deployment i think we have little bit of had a discussion so i'll just go a little faster i hope it is okay so software can be deployed to the production at any time but it's not deployed but here deployment software is automatically deployed to the production all the time so here in the one delivery you have a product ready for release someone is asking to do the release and then you do the release production release here you are not asking anyone okay so these are the discussions which we make it so yes uh, uh, these are the phases i discussed already so i'll just ignore it uh, in uh, uh, nowadays uh, everything we are doing through the you know uh, coding infrastructure as a coding so you have a yaml json and all which we are writing a code for implementing the cd and different teams different phases are working together and then collaborating for deliveries here you see that uh, we have build pipeline which you've been working from last few years i guess and we have to create a release pipeline also where we create deploy test and prod we put it in this sometime manual release sometime automated release you need approval process also and for delivery so that is stuff automated on demand we want to create it so uh, yes you can create through jenkins also but that's a lots of plugins you have to install but uh, but 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 I mean, we need some sophisticated tool which can not only manage the one release but all the uh, major release uh, understand the problem here you are deploying the pro environment uh, you are deploying to the product to environment not uh, one product release but multiple versions you have major release minor release uh, minor release multiple environment you have multiple clients you may have for deploying the same software in the cloud okay so many many regions which we have so some of the cd principles which includes so uh, have continuous integration in place that we discussed development and operations should work well together treat infrastructure as a code artifacts automate the environment creation process using terraform or ansible you can use it automate the release process that what that's what we are doing actually include the release to the definition of done release should be on demand everyone has access to the latest results that is important and everyone can see everything so some of the benefits of cd which includes uh, 
you know releasing uh, takes less effort should take less effort uh, releasing is more releasing is more uh, reliable and repetitive put control of release in the hands of business okay and uh, and if you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest thanks for watching